Hey guys, this is Lita from Sipnotech. As some of you may know, Alex and I just came back from a trip to Hong Kong. And we went to the Xiaomi store and got a couple things. I'm going to do a top five tech video today, but it'll be a little different from the other videos we've done in the past. This is going to include one, two, three, four, five different items that we got at the Xiaomi store. Let's take a look. The first item on our list is this anti-Blu-ray eyeglasses. If you've never heard of Blu-ray, don't worry, I'll tell you now. Blu-ray is a potentially harmful light that may appear from mobile phones, tablets, computers, TVs, and other electronics that may give you sore eyes and headaches. The main issue for a lot of people is that the blue light supposedly keeps you from falling asleep. Xiaomi leases their name out to a bunch of other manufacturing companies in different fields. They partnered with a Turkish eyewear brand to produce these glasses. They have a 35% blue light block rate and are extremely comfortable and very lightweight. And I have to say, don't I look fabulous? We got them for the equivalent of 16 US dollars. For the price, I'm a fan of these over a no brand name pair you find on Amazon or CVS for the same amount. They also include a really good quality, portable, soft carrying case, which is just the cherry on top. The second item on our list is the Mi Tripod Selfie Stick. This lightweight foldable selfie stick feels very premium and comes with a Bluetooth 3.0 detachable remote. It works with devices on Android 4.3 and higher, or iOS 5.0 and up. The selfie stick rotates 360 degrees, and although you may be able to find other selfie sticks for less than 15 US dollars, I'm a pretty big fan of this one due to the branding on it. Xiaomi always provides bang for your buck in their products, and surprisingly, these little side accessories live up to that mantle. Next up is, interestingly enough, an umbrella. Not really a tech product, more than a product being sold by a tech company. I actually wanted to pick one of these up because it started raining for a few days while we were in Hong Kong. This $16 umbrella features a water repellent cloth that also functions as anti-UV. The umbrella stand itself is supposed to be made of aluminum and fiberglass material, and I'm happy with the weight on it. This does not feel like a cheap umbrella at all. With a push of a button, you can both open and close the umbrella, a feature that is very convenient when rushing into the metro or trying to get in and out of your car quickly. And now to pack all that stuff up is the Mi Sling Backpack. This unisex backpack is both lightweight and compact and has a capacity of four liters. It features a zippered front pocket, an adjustable strap, and comes in color options of dark and light gray. We picked up the dark gray version and I'm pretty happy with it for the $10 US price we paid. You can fit your phone, tablet, charger, and more in there pretty comfortably. The polyester material feels smooth and it's padded very nicely to help cushion any impact with your electronics. This backpack is great for the commuter who may be riding their bike to work or the traveler who requires a day pack while exploring a city. Last but not least is this Xiaomi Bluetooth headset. These look really nice and are super lightweight. I admit, on the shelf, I mistook them for Xiaomi's answer to the AirPods. These are actually more Moto Hint than earphones. However, you can still control and listen to music with a touch of a button. You can pair up to two devices simultaneously on them, and it has three to four hours of talk time with 100 hours of standby. We got these for the equivalent of 10 US dollars. On the bright side, they are lightweight and last about seven hours listening to music in our testing. The downside is that even though they give you different earpiece sizes, I don't feel confident in them at all. And although the headset never once fell out of our ears, in more than 10 miles of walking with them in, it does feel loose. The sound quality is decent, although it could have been a bit louder, especially when on a train or bus with hundreds of people talking. We're actually giving away one of these brand new, so be sure to click the link below for more information. Since we did pick these up in Hong Kong, when you turn it on, it will have a Chinese introduction, but other than that, there's really no difference between this and the Global Edition. So find out more below, and good luck. 
And that wraps up our top five tech Xiaomi edition for March. I'll be back in April with brand new products. See you guys next time. If you like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, hit the bell button below so that you don't miss a single video in the future. I'll see you guys next time.